Last week, the Cash App rolled out a Bitcoin Lightning Network integration to most of its over 40 million active users. This app is unfortunately not available to the users in New York, furthering the list of financial innovations that are becoming not available to New Yorkers. So I guess call your congressman or move literally anywhere else. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a demo of how to use the Bitcoin Lightning Network on Cash App. Next, we'll cover some of the limitations of the Cash App Lightning Network implementation. And then finally, I'll cover why this is such a big deal. So go down below and smash the like button for financial innovations that are not available in New York yet. And let's level up your brains. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to send US dollars from our strike account and send those US dollars directly to Cash App over the Lightning Network. We'll then receive those dollars within Cash App as Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and open up our strike wallet here on our desktop. And we'll just go ahead and click on pay and we'll click on the QR code up here. And then over on our iPads on Cash App, we will go ahead and click over on Bitcoin. We'll click here on share QR code or link. We'll click here on the actual QR code. And then we'll see these two addresses here. The first one is for our Bitcoin network address. And the second one is for our lightning network address. So let's go ahead and copy the lightning network address. So that is now on my clipboard. And so if I paste this now into my computer, you'll see that I get an error because I didn't put in an amount. So let's go back here to cash app and add an amount. And let's say we want to send $15. So let's go ahead and click on next. We're seeing that the exchange right here is 72,500 and 31 Satoshis. And we can add a note if we want for a YouTube demo. We'll click on done and then we'll click on next. And now we'll actually click on our QR code and we'll copy the Lightning Network address here. And so then we'll try again over on strike. And when we paste this invoice, we should be seeing that we're getting a one cent routing fee and we're sending our $15 via the Lightning Network to Cash App. So let's go ahead and click on confirm. And so we see that it's sent over on strike and let's see if we refresh our cash app, it's already there. So unfortunately, unlike blue wallet cash app doesn't yet have a cool animation with like a check mark or anything to show you how quickly that happened. But all of this was real time. I'm not going to be doing any editing between sending a transaction like this, uh, just because I do want you guys to see how quickly the lightning network does actually work. All right. So now that we have received the Bitcoin over on our iPads in cash app, let's go ahead and try to pay a lightning invoice from our umbral full nodes. And if you don't know what a full node is or how to set one up, I'll leave a link up in the cards to a video that I did last year that shows you how to set up an umbral full node for yourself. Let's go ahead and create a 50,000 thousand Satoshi invoice here. And it took a little while for that to show up, but here is my 50,000 Satoshi invoice. And so now over on Cash App on the Bitcoin screen, I'm going to click on this scan a QR code and I'm just going to put this over that lightning QR code and it says, please scan a valid. So I'm not sure why it's not liking my umbral QR codes. We do have enough Bitcoin in our Cash App here to fulfill that invoice. So next I'm going to go ahead and try to do this using Blue Wallet. So when we log in, here to blue wallet if we don't already have a lightning wallet we can go click over on the left and see add a wallet and then we'll click on lightning we can create cash app lightning wallet demo and we can go ahead and click on create we get our backup of the wallet just in case we lose the wallet we can go ahead and click on okay i have saved it so now if we go ahead down here and click on receive we can try to receive those same fifty thousand satoshis here to our blue wallets let's call this cash app demo and we will create an invoice and we'll go ahead and allow notifications for blue wallet all right so here is our lightning invoice from blue wallet so let's go ahead and add 50,000 satoshis for our cash app and we'll go ahead and click on this square up here in the left hand corner and now it's asking us to scan our bitcoin or lightning qr code let's go ahead and take a picture of this qr code from blue wallet and we're seeing that now it is coming up and it's saying pay 50,000 sats i'm going to go ahead and send 50,000 satoshis and it's saying the fees here is totally free so i should be receiving 50,000 satoshis within my lightning wallet so i'm going to go ahead and click on pay here and i'm not going to do any editing and we're going to see how quickly it shows up in my blue wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the button. And there's my cash app pin. So not quite instant there, but you're seeing now this is totally live, no editing, it immediately showed up. And when I click on done, we can see that the $10 and whatever have left my Bitcoin wallet over on Cash App. If I go to send again, we'll see that I have 50,000 less Satoshis over in Cash App and I have exactly 
50,000 Satoshis within my blue wallet now on my computer. So it looks like the whole reason that my Umbral full node here failed was that it looks like my node is showing as online, but it actually seems like it's offline. It says that I do have enough send and receive capacity. It's just that there is some little technical issue somewhere with my Lightning node. So I will try to get that up so that I can use it for future demos. But in the meantime, if it isn't working with your Lightning node, you should be able to use solutions like Blue Wallet and fully interact your Cash App account with with Blue Wallet or with Moon Wallet or with whatever your mobile Lightning Wallet of choice is. And again, something like Blue Wallet available on pretty much any device you're ever going to use. And since it is fully open source, it should be available in you know pretty much any country in the world. And so now if you live in any country in the world, you can interact with users of the Cash App. Next, let's quickly go over some of the limitations to Cash App's Lightning Network integration. If you're unfamiliar with the Lightning Network, this is common across all sorts of apps that use the Lightning Network. All of the Lightning invoices that are generated are only available for a certain period of time. And in Cash App's integration with the Lightning Network, they're allowing you to keep one invoice open for up to 72 hours. And then obviously, just like any other Lightning Network invoice, you can't send the same invoice twice. Each invoice is only good for one use. So if you do see that your requester's QR code is no longer valid, you are going to have to go through the steps that we just went through today to send them another payment. As for Cash App specific limitations, you can only send or receive up to $999 of Bitcoin over the Lightning Network each week. If this limit ever changes generally or for you specifically, you can view the limit by going onto the Bitcoin tab within the Cash App and then scrolling down to see your different Bitcoin limits. If you're wanting to send and receive more money over the Lightning Network, you might want to look at other implementations of the Lightning Network, including Strike, or maybe setting up your own Lightning node. But as we saw in the demo, there can be some technical limitations there as well. And then finally, the app that I think is the most tried and true for interacting with the Lightning Network is of course Blue Wallet, like we demoed earlier. And if you have some sort of issue with Blue Wallet, I think that Moon is another great option. And I'll leave links to all of the software down in the description. And then if you do just want to stick with Cash App, but you're receiving more than $1,000 of Bitcoin per week, you can receive more than $1,000 of Bitcoin, but the rest of the Bitcoin past the $999 each week is going to need to be received as on-chain Bitcoin. And so you're not going to get that same free fee structure that we saw earlier. And you should be aware that there are Cash App limits to the amount of on-chain Bitcoin that you can receive as well. And those limits are in the same limits tab where you would find your Lightning Network limits. On top of all of those limits that we just talked about, there is one final limit, which is that you need at least 5,000 Satoshis or around the time of this recording, I think it's about a dollar to send any Bitcoin out of your cash app. So if you have 4,999 Satoshis, you can't withdraw any of them. But if you have 5,001 Satoshis, you can withdraw all of them. And so while Lightning does make it possible for you to send very, very small amounts of money into your cash app, including one Satoshi at a time, you need at least that 5,000 Satoshi balance to be able to withdraw any of your Satoshis to any other wallet. Oh my God, who the hell? Hell cares. So the Lightning Network is cool and everything, but why is this such a big deal? It's a big deal for three reasons. The first reason is consumer choice. The second reason is it's good for businesses. And the third reason is it's really cool for international payments. And so let's go ahead and tackle each one of those one at a time. First, with regards to consumer choice, Cash App is now making a step in the direction of allowing you to connect with any other financial app in the future. Before you were never able to send money from Venmo to Cash App, but now all Venmo has to do to integrate to Cash app is integrate to the Bitcoin Lightning Network. And you can see how powerful this is back in that demo that I just did. You are now able to send money directly from Strike into Cash App because both Strike and Cash App behind the scenes are built on top of the same singular global monetary protocol called the Bitcoin Lightning Network. So if Venmo and PayPal follow suit, which I'm not holding my breath because they've been making some pretty crazy business decisions as of late, but if Venmo and PayPal integrated to the Bitcoin Lightning Network, we will finally be able to have seamless access between Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, and Strike, and really any other service, including Twitter, that integrates with the Bitcoin Lightning Network. If all your friends over in Jersey are using the Cash App, but you're back state government has banned the Cash App's Lightning Network implementation. Bad news, like your state government sucks. 
But good news, you can use any other Bitcoin Lightning Network wallet to interact with your friends that are using the Cash App. Next for businesses, as of 2020, 64 million small businesses are using the Square payment terminal and Square is the parent company of the Cash App. And so the next logical step is to start implementing these Bitcoin Lightning Network payments into the Square payment terminals that you're probably already using at your favorite coffee shop. This will be a really big deal for businesses because currently lots of low margin businesses are basically forced to accept the credit card company 3% merchant fees and then inevitably pass on those costs to us, the consumers. With the Lightning Network, as we saw earlier, those fees completely go away. And as more and more people adopt digital payment methods and start to move further and further away from physical credit cards, businesses will be less and less hamstrung by these credit card card processing fees and the credit card network monopolies more generally. Finally, this is a big deal for international payments because nearly 40 million people almost entirely in America who are already using the Cash App just unlocked the ability to send and receive money to anyone in the world who currently has one of these open source Bitcoin Lightning Network wallets. Cash App's parent company Square didn't need to open up a new office in Tokyo or Bangladesh or Nigeria or Yemen. They just made one single software integration to the Bitcoin Lightning Network. And now citizens from all of those places can send and receive money to users of the Cash App. And what's more exciting is with new developments coming to the Lightning Network like Taro, Cash App could unlock the ability to again, without opening business practice in any of these other countries, allow people to send and receive US dollars over the Lightning Network to anyone in the world with a Bitcoin Lightning Network wallet, which would be huge for people in developing countries who just want some sort of stable currency. Comment down below if you guys have questions about anything that we covered today. I do still respond to all the comments. If you do want to learn more about the Lightning Network, go ahead and check out Andreas Antonopoulos' book, Mastering the Lightning Network. Link for that down in the description. Check out this video over here to learn about Lightning Network alternatives to the Cash App, and check out this video over here to learn how to set up your own Bitcoin Lightning Node. That's it for today, guys. I love you all. Goodbye.